Project 1, The Old Republic. One of the best things to do to revive the Star Wars franchise would be to enter a whole new time period in order to get some fresh air. The Old Republic era is definitely a fan favorite, and it could be a good place to start in scoring back some points with current critics of the franchise. Whether it was a standalone film or series, anything including Revan, Bastila Shan, Malak, and Nihilus would be a treat. That is assuming that the project would accurately represent the source material and what we know the characters of the Old Republic as. Some minor changes could be made for dialogue purposes, of course, but if the stories were taken and simply put into live action, it would be an instant hit. Project 2. Tales of the Sith. Tales of the Jedi has to be one of the most underrated recent Star Wars projects, so it makes sense to continue in this direction. The series could continue right after Count Dooku's turn to the dark side and focus on the rise of the Separatists and all of the events prior to Attack of the Clones. With this, the show could also explore interesting moments not yet seen on screen, such as General Grievous's origins, how Dooku found him, and his process of getting cybernetics. Project 3, a prequel to The Force Awakens. There are so many questions that didn't get answered adequately in the sequel trilogy, so it would be neat to have an animated series for this purpose. The series could also be the closest thing we get to a Legends version of Luke Skywalker by seeing him start a new Jedi Order. It would be interesting to see him training Ben Solo, Snoke's cloning process, the Knights of Ren and their origins, and what Han and Leia were doing during this period. The show could start off with just an eight-episode season to gauge fan reaction and could be called something like The Reign of the Rebellion. Project 4. A Maul Spin-Off One of the best characters that Star Wars fans still can't seem to get enough of is Darth Maul. To avoid repetition for a series of his own, the best time period would be between Order 66 and Rebels. We know from his cameo in Solo that he eventually became a prominent underworld boss, so it would be interesting to see how this came to be following his midlife crisis at the end of the Clone Wars. The show could also explore similar themes from George Lucas' plans for an underworld series following the fall of the Republic. Project 5. A Balin and Shin Origin Story Following the death of Ray Stevenson, it would be a shame to not get any sort of expansion on his character besides just a generic book or comic. Even just a limited animated series that covered his backstory could be an interesting development for his character. It could answer questions such as what his experience was like in the Jedi Order, what made him lose trust in the light side, and why he made his middle ground by wishing for the end of the cycle between the Sith and the Jedi. In addition, the story could lead to how he learned so much ancient history about the Force and how he was introduced to his apprentice, Shin. Project 6, a prequel to The Phantom Menace. This could be a trilogy or series, as it could cover everything from Palpatine's origins to Darth Plagueis to a young Darth Maul on Dathomir. The project could lead to key events in canon, such as Palpatine's rise to political power, the eventual tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, and Palpatine training Maul from his youth. This could either be done by recasting someone who could pass as a younger version of Ian McDiarmid or putting the project in animation for simplicity. Project 7 Vader. Again, any format works here. But first, it's important to address one common concern. Does the whole franchise revolve around his story already? Yes. However, you can never get enough Vader. A project that focused on his life after Revenge of the Sith would be an instant classic. All it would have to do is follow the EU comics down to a T, and it could easily be one of the greatest additions to the franchise. Some key moments could be seeing Vader fight Kirak in Fila, introducing Starkiller into canon, Vader learning of Luke's existence, Vader training the Inquisitors, Vader hunting down other hidden Jedi, and getting a first-hand perspective on what his life was truly like under Palpatine and in his own solitude. It could even include the iconic Padme's gravesite fan scene. Project 8 A Horror Film It should go without stating that this would be a new style for Star Wars, but the franchise's target audience doesn't always have to be catered towards younger crowds. There are tons of older fans that would love to see an R-rated Star Wars film in theaters, and it is time to deliver. This could be anything from Scott Derrickson's idea of a Hoth horror flick to the common concept of zombie-plagued stormtroopers to something that investigates the origins of the Sith or even a new side plot inserted into the original timeline. 
This could be something like Vader Immortal, but as a rated R movie. Not in a literal sense, but something along these lines would be an intriguing catch. Project 9. The Mandalorian Future Seasons. We've all heard the common saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Mandalorian was the answer for the future of Star Wars, but it got fixed. Even before getting to Season 3, the issue lies in trying to recreate the Mandalorian formula for other Star Wars shows. This is what led to poorly executed projects like Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and especially Kenobi. And yes, Andor 2 was not great in bringing hype back to Star Wars. What worked well with The Mandalorian wasn't just the fact that it was the first live-action streaming series on Disney+, Plus, but that its story was golden and that its environment provided the right feel for what the future of Star Wars content can be. Then, it seemed like Mando Season 3 lost all of its momentum by waiting way too long to come out. It was likely rushed along and put on the back burner due to these other projects that were only greenlit due to The Mandalorian's success. If Star Wars did nothing else in the future, putting The Mandalorian back on track with a solid Season 4 would be all the franchise needs. If the show succeeded season after season, it could continue to feature characters like Boba Fett and Ahsoka instead of making a second season for each character separately. Some heavy lifting would definitely need to be done to correct the mistakes in season 3, but Dingerine and Grogu are the future of the franchise. Project 10. A proper sequel to the sequels. Whether or not this would be in or outside of the Rey movie, some key plot points would have to be made to address prominent issues with the sequels. For instance, the end of the Skywalker bloodline was way too deliberate in The Rise of Skywalker. Instead of bringing him back, a substitute could be that he likely had a kid or kids at some point in his life that were unknown. This could be for multiple reasons, such as Snoke finding out and concealing them, or Kylo hiding them for their own safety. A second plot point could be Finn exploring his Force sensitivity, beginning his training as a Jedi, and helping Rey with her new academy. Things could also be shaken up in the Force, with the introduction of a group of Sith that no longer follow the rule of two. This group and their future lineage would be the biggest threat to a new Jedi Order. In addition, Rey could have help from Ezra, who now resembles his former master Kanan. All of this could be connected by making Grogu and Jason their two best students. A few correctly added plot points such as these could make for an interesting trilogy.